Uh, if I could kick off uh, very briefly uh, by saying that when uh, I was elected, my government was elected uh, 14 months ago, uh, I made uh, four promises to the Australian people. Uh, first, that I would repeal the carbon tax, and that's gone. Uh, second, that I would stop the illegal boats that were coming to our country, uh, and they have, thank God, stopped. Third, that we would start building roads in particular, which had been long neglected in this country. And fourth, I said, I would get the budget under control. Now, I have to say that this has proven massively difficult, massively difficult, because it doesn't matter what spending program you look at, uh, it doesn't matter how wasteful that spending program might appear, uh, there are always some people in the community who vote, who love that program very much. Uh, so getting the budget under control uh, has proven extremely difficult. Uh, if I could speak candidly with you, uh, what I have tried to do is not only get the budget back under control, but also try to bring about uh, important economic reforms, important liberalisations at the same time. Uh, two issues in particular uh, that I lay before my uh, colleague leaders. Uh, we have tried to deregulate higher education universities, um, and that's going to mean less central government spending uh, and effectively more fees that students will have to pay. Uh, we think that this will uh, free up our universities to be more competitive amongst themselves and more competitive internationally, uh, but students never like to pay more. Uh, the other reform that has proven very, very difficult for us uh, is to try to inject more price signals into our health system. Uh, for a long time, most Australians who went to see uh, a doctor uh, have been seen at no charge. Uh, and we would like to see a $7 co-payment uh, for people who are going to see the doctor. In most countries, this is not unusual. Uh, in most countries, this is a standard that the doctor can charge a fee, uh, but it is proving to be massively difficult uh, to get this particular reform uh, through the parliament. Uh, I don't have any magic answers to the problems that we face. Um, I think that all we can do is explain the reasons as carefully as we can uh, and to persist uh, for as long as we can uh, with these reforms. Uh, but the more uh, gatherings like this uh, can affirm the importance of good policy uh, the more gatherings like this can affirm the importance of governments not over-promising uh, things that are unaffordable and undeliverable, then I think the easier it is for all of us uh, to deliver good policy to the people of our country. So that, I hope, is, is, uh, is what we can do over the next uh, hour and three quarters or so, have a very candid and very honest discussion uh, about uh, uh, where we think our countries uh, can and should go, uh, both individually and collectively uh, over the next few years.